you blinked, you definitely missed that kill, but we are still killing the wolf boss in 30 seconds. On top of that, we are getting upwards of 60,000 damage per second on the test dummy, not counting any of our bonus damage against great ones on our mods, not counting our memetics cradle that gives us 35% shrapnel damage on kill, 25% damage when we throw tacticals or whatever other damage bonuses that don't count for the dummy that is in our build. I would bet on the bosses we're getting upwards of 80 to 90,000 damage per second against great ones. And on that boss kill itself, you noticed I actually stopped shooting him right before his immunity phase triggered and I killed one of the mobs to activate my Magmatic's Cradle and we did so much damage I went through some of his second immunity phase. Now on top of all of this, I am still missing one piece of gear. I am wearing blue scout shoes. This is not the piece of gear I want in my shoe slot. What I really wanna get is the Bastille shoes because if you're only wearing one piece of armor from this set, you get 10% weapon damage when your HP is above 70. So my build isn't even fully done yet. However, we're getting such insane damage that I feel happy about sharing this on YouTube. So in this video, we're gonna quickly cover my build. I'll give you guys a couple other options for mods. I will tell you where everything drops. And then after that, we will talk about some of the other shrapnel mods that you guys asked about on the last video, like shrapnel smash or shrapnel carnage, all that other stuff. And I'm also gonna show you guys damage testing between the gas mask and the beret, because a lot of you were talking trash in the last video that the beret is better than the gas mask because the gas mask only lets you trigger one piece of shrapnel. But I'm here to tell you guys that not everything works how it reads. Every single piece of gear I get, I test on the test dummy and I test against the bosses, as well as all kinds of different combinations. I don't just throw a build together and then post it on YouTube. So I will be showing you guys that you can get more than one shrapnel with the gas mask, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys are just here to see my build and the mods I'm using, as well as find out where to farm for this stuff. Now, if you guys are having trouble farming some of these bosses, check out the last video I just posted, which gave tips and tricks against all of the great ones, in-depth general tips against them all, and then very specific tips like against the spider. Did you know you could farm that boss without taking poison damage? That's all in the last video. It'll be linked in the pinned comment. So check that one out if you're interested. Now quickly, let me tell you all the drop locations for everything. So for the weapons, you farm the wolf boss, the boss that I showed at the start of the video. He drops shrapnel mods and only use your controllers on pro mode. So if you can't farm him solo, get a couple friends to help you. Now for all of the armor, you're going to be farming them from silos. So notice I have one blue mod on my torso. I'll show you which silo drops that. Uh, this silo right here, Silo Sigma drops blue mods and you have to do this on easy mode. If you put it in pro mode, he drops legendary uh, torso mods. And this is where I go for the blue crit damage mods. Besides that, you're just gonna look for the silo with the piece of gear you're farming for. Okay, this silo up here drops legendary helmet mods. Again, do these on pro mode because then they'll drop two. This silo down here drops the mask. Alrighty, so the mod for the weapon I am using is Obliterate. I think Shrapnel Souvenir is a very fun mod and I'll make a build about this one later. And I also tested Shrapnel Smash and this one's just not worth it damage wise. Obliterate is definitely the highest damage mod. Now, the most important attributes I'm looking for are magazine capacity, weapon damage, crit damage, and then damage against great ones. Anything else I completely ignore, and you can see this Obliterate has three out of the four that I name. Now for the helmet, I'm wearing the gas mask. I will show testing against gas mask versus beret later. I am using momentum up. This gives you 10% fire rate for the first half of your mag and 30% weapon damage for the second half of your mag. Now, in the first video, I recommended Fateful Strike, and that's just because this is the mod that I had. I literally didn't get this until after I posted that video. I do think that Fateful Strike is still a great option. Now, one thing I will say is that obviously you don't get weak spot damage. And like I said, weak spot damage is not important for shrapnel. You can honestly completely ignore weak spot damage. However, you can't always control what you get. You notice my Momentum Up has weak spot damage on it and I can't control that. So one benefit that Momentum Up does have over Fateful Strike is if some of your mods do end up having weak spot damage, then at least Fateful Strike isn't wasting them. But if you have all crit bonuses, all gun damage bonuses, all great one bonuses, Fateful Strike is definitely the second best option. For the mask, I am using Explosive Shrapnel out of all the mask mods I tested. 
Uh, we will do shrapnel carnage testing later. I just want to show you guys my current build. Explosive shrapnel is awesome. For the gloves, I'm using crit amplifier. Now, another cool mod I found was crit boost. Personally, I think crit rate is very much so a form of damage on this build because the soaker uh, triggers more shrapnel the more uh, times you hit a crit, so crit rate is very strong. With that being said though, this crit amplifier has 12% mag capacity on it, and I think that that is strong enough that I'm wearing this one. I think that both of these mods are great. Uh, just the one with the best bonuses on the bottom is the one you want to go for. So crit amplifier or crit boost. Now for the shoes, I was wearing a blue crit damage mod and with 2% more crit rate, but I actually found this one, which is taking no damage within four seconds, gives you 20% weapon damage. And we already have a lot of crit damage, so it's good to diversify our bonuses. So I went for the weapon damage and this one even has 12% crit on the bottom. So this one's definitely really powerful. Now for the shirt, I'm wearing a blue crit damage mod and you'll notice I picked the one with magazine capacity again over the one with crit damage. The less we're reloading, the more damage per second we're doing. And I do have the option between these two, I went for mag capacity. For the pants, I'm using Deadshot Precision. This one gives you 5% crit damage up to 45% for every critical hit that you hit with non-melee weapons. And in the last video, I recommended Bullet Siphon. What I will say is that, again, it's good to diversify your bonuses, but this one gives us 45% damage and this one gives us 20% damage. This one also probably stacks up faster since we're hitting a lot of critical hits. This one probably doesn't start until about halfway through our magazine. Bullet Siphon is a good option if you can find it, but I do think that the Deadshot is definitely better, so definitely farm for this one if you have controllers. Finally, the most <laughs> important thing for boss killing on any build, not just mine, is the recurve crossbow. When you hit the weak spot on bosses, you get 30% uh, more crit rate, which is just insane for this build. But also I have the vulnerability uh, weapon mod. The bullseye adds 8% vulnerability. Now, luckily none of the bottom bonuses matter. You just need this mod. And the boss that drops this is the spider boss. So again, if you don't like fighting the spider boss, go check out my video uh, giving tips and tricks for every single boss. I actually found a really good tip for killing the spider boss. So make sure you look at that one in the pinned comment. Now quickly in the cradle, we've got 20% assault rifle damage, 50% damage against deviants, 25% damage when we throw an item. And I got a quick tip for you guys this for this one. I took rapid aid to help me use uh, activators faster. I took sprint for more stamina. Tactical combo, this is just free damage because we're swapping between the crossbow and our regular gun. We're reloading our gun a lot. And then obviously we take the two shrapnel cradles. Now one quick tip for master tactician is go into your settings, scroll down just a little bit and turn on quick use items. What this does is makes it so when I click my uh, well, it didn't work that time. It bugged out. But when I click my quick use item button, usually it'll just throw it and then it'll swap back to your weapon automatically. You don't have to swap back and forth. Finally, for the deviant, I use the lone wolf. Not only does this give us weapon damage, which is amazing because this is a boss killing build, but the lone wolf also distracts enemies. When you throw this out, the enemies attack your lone wolf instead of attacking you. Now, this is going to be good for this mod right here, taking no damage, but this will also be good for when I finally get the Bastille shoes because I need to be above 70% HP to keep that damage active. The Lone Wolf is severely underrated. Everybody's using Festering Gel, but honestly, I recommend this one. And then finally for food, we are making canned meat. This gives us shrapnel damage. And you can even choose what kind of meat you put in here for different bonuses. I do think you want to be using this, especially at end game. Food is like getting food to help your build is just really great. All right, now it's time to show the difference between the gas mask and the beret. So first of all, you will notice that when I am wearing, well here, let me, hold on, let me take my shiesty off so you guys see I'm wearing the gas mask. When I shoot the dummy and we get shrapnel to trigger off of a crit, you will see that it triggers, there it is two damage triggers. Uh, rewind the video if you didn't see it. We'll get it to trigger again while I'm talking about it. When you crit with the soaker, 
you trigger two pieces of shrapnel. When you don't crit with the soaker, you trigger one piece of shrapnel. Now, with that being said, the beret does give you extra uh, shrapnels when you do trigger shrapnel. The other thing about the gas mask is it gives you 120% shrapnel damage. This is a large bonus. And what I will say is with the beret giving you extra shrapnel, it is oftentimes giving you 100 to 150% extra shrapnel damage just because it triggers is more shrapnel. Now with that being said, I am using explosive shrapnel. This gives one of our pieces of shrapnel 300% bonus damage with a guaranteed crit. And what the gas mask does is it makes our shrapnel stronger. What the beret does is it gives us more pieces of weaker shrapnel. And now you might be thinking to yourself, well, the beret triggers more shrapnel, so it's going to give us more triggers on explosive shrapnel, right? And that is not true. So let's go ahead and just shoot the test dummy with the gas mask on. And let's count how many times we trigger one trigger of explosive shrapnel. So one trigger in that magazine, let's shoot it again. One trigger. Two triggers. Uh, so oftentimes we get between one and two triggers per magazine with the gas mask, one trigger. So it's about one and a half per magazine. You can go shoot the dummy if you want to. Let me switch to the beret. Let me put on the same mod as I was wearing before so that the only thing we changed was the beret. And let's just shoot the dummy again. One trigger. So one trigger in that magazine. One trigger, we'll probably get to this mag. Two. So one trigger in the first one, two in the second one. One trigger. So it's the same. I've tested this against the dummy countless times. Uh, the beret does not trigger explosive shrapnel more times. So what that means is the gas mask does more damage with explosive shrapnel specifically. All right, so I've tested on these dummies multiple times. We've got our gas mask on. I'm just stacking up some lone wolf stacks. And then I will activate the dog, shoot the crossbow, and we will also do this for the beret. All right, 10 lone wolf stacks. So activate the dog, crossbow. Just see what we can get on your average test upwards of 60k and let's do this one as well i would say closer to 58 59 there and i seen a 62 there uh sometimes i can even get upwards of 65 now my dog's gonna run out we'll be right back with the beret all right so swap over to Beret, put on the same exact mod. That is all we are changing. Back up some Lone Wolf. We'll do the same exact thing for this one. We'll get ourselves 10 stacks. Ooh, those were some unlucky procs. Eight, nine, ten. All right, cool. Reload, bow, dog. And let's just see what we get. Fifty-eight, fifty-nine on that one. Definitely not bad. And our second one gets fifty-six, fifty-seven. So, like I said, the gas mask is honestly only slightly better than beret. Now, I've done this test many, many times. The only way I've gotten sixty-five k damage was when I was wearing the gas mask. At least on this setup specifically, like when the only thing I change is the gas mask to the beret, I do a little bit more damage with the gas mask. So is it really worth 8K star crom? I would say if I was just playing this game a bit more casually, this would be the last thing I would get. I happened to buy it first because I was not able to test it until I bought it and it looked really good to me. So since I did, I'm gonna use the gas mask because it does do more damage than the beret 
on this build and when I'm using exploding shrapnel. All right, so the next thing we need to talk about because a lot of people are asking me about this, which is shrapnel carnage. Now, shrapnel carnage says shrapnel weak spot hit weight 100%. Now that would lead you to believe that all of your shrapnel will hit the weak spot guaranteed, right? Well, it doesn't exactly work how it reads. Let me show you this other mod called targeted bounce. So this is a bounce mod for your weapon. Bounce weak spot priority plus 300%. So if we can get 300% weak spot priority, then that really means that this is not guaranteed to hit the weak spot, it's more priority. And I will explain to you how it works. All right, so I'll just show you quickly. We did equip it, shrapnel weak spot hit weight. And when we shoot the torso of the dummy, obviously, okay, so you saw a shrapnel down there. And we'll just do it again real quick, a shrapnel down there it's not guaranteed to hit the weak spot. And there's one where it didn't it didn't trigger to, it didn't hit the weak spot at all, it only hit down there. So what weak spot pro priority is, or at least this is my guess, is let's just, for example, there's four parts of the dummy, his two arms, his body, and his head. So that would mean, at least in this example, 25% chance to hit the body, 25% on this arm, 25% on this arm and 25 on the head. So if we add 100% chance to hit the head, then it's only a 50% chance to hit the weak spot on the dummy rather than guaranteed. So basically 100% bonus would be double the chance and double 25 is 50. And what that means in my eyes is this mod is not exactly worth it. I do actually think there is a really fun combo with shrapnel souvenir. And let me just show you shrapnel souvenir real quick. What shrapnel souvenir is, is when shrapnel hits a weak spot, automatically refills one billet from the inventory. So let's go ahead and get some crit rate with the bow. And you can see when I'm using shrapnel souvenir and the weak spot weight, I get a lot extra in my magazine although it still will run out eventually. And we're doing 37 damage per second. You know what, let's go ahead and even trigger the dog on this one. Shoot this guy. Let's see how much damage per second we can pull out of this with the bullseye and the dog triggered. Over 40K, over 45, 40, between 40 and 45K damage per second. And you can see we kind of have a bottomless mag here. Um, and now what I will say is I found this build and it is very fun. I'm not going to lie. And what's even more hilarious is I actually think that this build is better with Fateful Strike because this gives us so much extra crit rate and we need to hit crits to trigger more shrapnel that'll hit the weak spots to refill our mags. And what I will say is this is more of a fun build than anything. Um, in reality, like with my example with the dummy, you know, this dummy has four pieces, torso, both arms, head. A lot of the enemies in this game have a lot more pieces than this. And I just found when I was actually testing this build on enemies that we didn't have infinite ammo all the time, but we did have a lot bigger of a magazine. Now, another one we could talk about is shrapnel smash. A couple people asked about this in the comments. Triggering shrapnel gives you shrapnel crit rate. Uh, I just tested this and this only gives our shrapnel crit rate. If this gave our actual soaker crit rate, I'd probably be using this but it also only lasts for two seconds. It can stack up to 20 times, but I just didn't find that this was out damaging obliterate. Uh, and I have a bunch of these. I don't know if I had one with the best bonuses ever. My obliterate kind of has some really good bonuses on it, or at least my current one. I'm pretty sure I was using a worse obliterate for a while there. Uh, maybe I sold it once I unlocked this one, but I just think obliterate does more damage than this. So that's just my thoughts on shrapnel smash. And that is probably it for this video. Well, the next phase starts in two days. We're gonna get pro bosses. I'm gonna get myself some Bastille shoes. I'm gonna farm more stuff. I might even try to get some blueprints for the soaker. Uh, one quick tip, if you want to level up your soaker blueprint, notice it is a Beyonder. You don't need to spend 8k to buy more Beyonder blueprints, or at least I'm pretty sure you don't because that's how the other ones work. I noticed that the two other Beyonders are these two pistols that are also in the Wish Machine. And if you look at these two pistols, these pistols only cost 2,000 Star Chrome. So instead of spending 8 more thousand to level up your blueprint, you can probably level it up by buying a, like you could buy four of these 2000 ones. Uh, I may test that and post a quick follow-up video 
once the next phase comes out and after I get my Bastille shoes. And I'll let you guys know how that one goes, but I do recommend probably trying this or maybe get some confirmation from someone else before you do. I'm definitely gonna try it, so if you wanna wait for me to try it and post a follow-up video, go ahead and do that or join my Discord. I'll definitely let you guys know in there. That's gonna be it for me. I hope I answered any questions you guys had. I hope you guys will not comment stuff under my video if you didn't test it yourself because the gas mask cl clearly triggers two more shrapnel and it triggered me, okay? It is what it is. But I had fun making this video either way and I appreciate you guys who do comment stuff like that because it gives me more uh, content because then I could do this little Mythbusters special for this shrapnel build. Let me know what you guys think down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.